Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be talking about another batch of character and I will be giving you some tips on how to deal versus them. And the first one we are going to start out with is Balrog. And I'm going to talk today about his V Trigger 1 especially. Uh, his V Trigger 1 is one of the best comeback V Triggers in the game I'll say. And a lot of it have to do with the people getting hit by his resets in the V trigger so the high and low mix ups he will do a couple of dash punches to an overhead or spin and do the low and the main reason people get hit by this is a lot of people don't understand that the overhead is the faster option so what a lot of people will do is you will be crouch blocking right so you will be crouch blocking and try to react to the overhead but the overhead is faster so if you really think about it the best way to deal with this is the other way around you block standing because the overhead is faster so you will be by default you'll be blocking and then re try to react to the slower option so the very first step about how to deal with balrog and his v trigger like 50 50 low overhead is to block standing once you see him starting doing the sequence stand block and then try to react to him not doing the overhead and not the other way around So putting that into practice, we are going to discuss what happens when you get hit, right? So I'm going to get, let myself get hit by his first dash punch or the first part of his request and then try to block low or overhead depending on the outcome. And like I said, the overhead comes faster, so I'm going to be stand blocking and try to react to the low if it happens. This is still a really hard situation because you have to consider the throw option, but since the overhead comes out faster, for me at least, I found it easier to just go for the stand block. And as you can see here, I was able to get all of them. Uh, it's still really, really hard. Don't be too hard on yourself. And this is, of course, training mode online and in practice, it's, it's something completely different. But at least on hit, try to go for that. And hopefully you will be finding more success blocking that sequence. So now we are going to be talking about the same sequence but on block. So he will do a couple of dash punches and then try to go for his low or over it. And the situation is really not scary on block. Like you don't, you never have to be scared of that situation on block because you can always interrupt him. Uh, you can always challenge. Like this is a point where you have to challenge. So let's uh, let's make him do the pose of the sequence, the low and the overhead. I turned off the notification, so I don't know which is which. And now I'm going to interrupt with my four frame. Yeah, I, I got it. Maybe go for a counter hit combo. And I, didn't, I, I don't know if it's combos, honestly, but yeah. Like the point is you can always interrupt here. Uh, as soon as you see him spin, you go for your counter hit combo, you go for your jab. You know, it's not scary on block. That is the key point. On block, you can always challenge. And he can, He Balrog does have some answers to you mashing there. But I, I believe he can delay the V-Skill punch follow-up and catch you here. But the point is, it's not that hard to deal with it on block. Like, I, I would recommend challenging until the Balrog player proves that he can stop you there. So as we just saw, if you ever played this game in any capacity before, I'm sure you got killed before. That last round, that happened to every single person who played this game online in any capacity. You're about to win the round. You alright, I got my knockdown, I'm going to go for Oki. Ken say, oh no, he hits you with an EXDB, 
Now you're in the corner. Now you have to guess. You get hit once. You get thrown. Stun. Combo. Death. That happened to everyone who plays this game. And it's a very powerful thing that can have. And, oh, you know, there's other characters who have EXDB into V-Trigger. But Ken in particular, because he he has so much corner carry on everything he does. So, the situation is, no matter what you do, it's a guess, right? It's, it's a guess. You can delay your meaty and stuff like that, but he can always still get you. And of course, the EXDP is punishable or block. So if you ever block that, you can always punish him. It's not something that's completely safe to do. As you see, she can you can meet him and then dash up and block. But the idea is, if you do that, and if they know you're gonna do that, Ken can just wake up Tatsu and V trigger cancel, and now he's plus. And it's almost the same situation. You have to guess again. So it's a mix up between does he wake up Tatsu or does he wake up EXDP? And it's mix up on you that he forces on you by being knocked down. So is there is any other way we can meet him on wake up without having to worry about that 50-50 situation? Well, if you're going for point blank okay, then not really, no. But what you might want to try to do is to bait him into it. And what I mean by that is his light kick Tatsu only the first hit can be cancelled into V-Trigger. So when he is doing uh, Wake Up Tatsu to V-Trigger, it will only work if the first hit connects. So as you can see, he's now waking up Light Tatsu, he's plus 2, and he gets a perfect throw from that. So what you may want to do is try to create some separation between you and him on Wake Up, make the first hit of the Tatsu with, and then use that to bait him. So what we're going, what we're doing now is we are standing a little bit further away. He is doing the light kick on wake up, but it's whiffing. The first hit is whiffing, and he can't get the V trigger cancel. And the rest is minus eight, and you can get a punish. If he does a DP on that wake up, because his DPs go so far, you will still be able to punish him on that, whether he does the V trigger cancel or not. This is not the best answer ever, but I found it to be a good one to deal with that situation. Sticking with Ken here for a bit, now I wanted to talk about his V-Trigger and how do Ken player like to activate in the neutral. The most common way is to do a fireball. So they will do something like a medium kick to fireball and use that to go to V-Trigger. And it's really good because he gets plus frame on block. He gets a standing combo on hit. So it's a really good way to get to your V-Trigger. It's a very strong one. And he can do that on regular or EX fireball. What a lot of people will try to do is to V-Reverse on that. And this is a really bad idea. He is so plus in that situation that he can always throw you. So if you have a 17 frame or like a knockdown reversal, that's a really bad idea. Don't do that. What you want to do is you want to be reversal the normal before the fireball. So like when he does a crouching medium kick to fireball, you want to be reversal the crouching medium kick. Now he can't even go to the V-Trigger. Like as we're seeing here, you'll be able to get that every single time. And if it's Ken, it is gonna be the crouching medium kick. Like that's so that is a 99% will do. They will always go for crouching medium kick to activate. With someone like Akuma, it can be a little bit different. If you have an ADB, maybe try to go for the gap there. But my best recommendation is to try to V-reversal the normal that comes before the fireball. And that brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it and find it informative. I will be revisiting back Balrog and Ken because I still have some more stuff to say about them. So if you like what you saw, please leave a like and a comment and share if possible. And thank you for watching.